All right, we are on cooler.adobe.com, and we are going to make our own color panel palette from a photograph. So make sure that you are signed in. Oops, I think I'm signed in on Chrome. There we go. Let's get rid of these. Okay. I'm going to select an image, hit open. It flips it upside down, just for added bonus awesomeness. And then you can choose the color family. I'm sorry, the color story is probably a better word. Bright, muted, deep, dark. At any point, you can grab one of these circles and you'll see that on the left-hand side it goes to custom because this, you are customizing it. So let's see, I'm gonna, I really like that brown. And I rather have, let's see, like kind of that. Put this up over near his nose. And let's see if I can't get. Now, this would be good, but it's not giving me the intensity of blue that I want right here. So I'm going to double click. And um, actually, <coughs> that's go over here create from color wheel and it will let me take that and change the blue. And then you can go back to photograph if you want to upload another file. Once you've got the palette that you like, you can save it. Save. And it will go into your themes. Walter and the Sun, a copy of another one that I downloaded from Cooler, Walter Napping. Right. So these are ones that I've been saving uh, for the last couple semesters on my Adobe account. So again, create. You can create it from here. You could say, all right, these are analogous colors. Maybe I want to work with complementary colors. As you move that around, it will keep that color rule for you. So yeah, it's kind of amazing. Once you've got that, and you like it, just hit save. If you want to upload from a photograph, that's also easy. How about muted? Dark, bright, and then just Walter in the dining room, and save. And then when you go to my themes, you will have the cooler palettes that you made. So there's two options, making it from a photograph or making it from the color wheel. And this is on cooler.adobe.com. Now we're gonna go into Photoshop and see what we can do with cooler there. But before I do that, I'm gonna to go to my themes and I'm going to download Walter in the sun. And when you mouse over the swatches, you'll see that you can get info about it. I can edit it at any time. So if I was like, well, you know, that color there, I'd like if it was a little, a little more intense, kind of a brick red. Perfect. And then I save. It will update it. You may change it to an existing theme. How would you like to save it? As a copy or just save over it? I'm going to save as a copy. Go to my themes and you'll see that there is a copy with a different uh, swatch in the middle. I'm going to download this and a copy of that file will be in the finder. Copy of Walter and the Sun .ase, Adobe Swatch Exchange file. So now we're gonna go into Photoshop and create some palettes there and learn how to work with this palette in a Photoshop document.